Thank you, Scott, and Red City HQ um, crew <coughs> for making this event possible. I've been in the last three years. Um, I hesitate to say it's getting better and better because it's awesome every single year, but <laughs> this year's awesome or <laughs> so, uh, so thank you very much for doing that. Um, this is my pit crew. Um, this is my husband, Paul, um, probably the most patient man in the world. We've been married just over 20 years. Um, you know, when I was starting out building the business, it'd be like, yeah, I think we'll be home for dinner tonight. And we live at quarter to 10. <laughs> and I get, you know, like, and not, no problem, you know. Hey, I know you're working and you're building something. So, um, just like the other guy said, if your wife's happy, everyone's happy. He knows that too. <laughs> so, um, I spend my days at Revolution Sport Conditioning, training athletes of all different ages and abilities. And, and um, our number one goal is to build good people. So, in our facility, um, if we were training together, or you guys were training together, and we passed him a set of 15 pound dumbbells, he would say thank you. And we get a new kid in, you know, we get a 16 year old hockey player, um, he's drafted to the O, so, you know, he's all that bag of chips and mm -hmm. comes in, you know, his buddy passes him a plate or whatever, he just takes it and away he goes. And I'll say, Did you say thank you? No. Would you say thank you? Thank you. You know, and, and it's just weird, but you do that for three days in a row, and now this kid is saying, Oh, thanks. You're welcome. You know, um, so that's that's probably what I'm most proud of. Then we also build better athletes, trying to help athletes achieve their potential, whatever that is for them. So for some, it might legitimately be winning an Olympic gold medal. For others, it might be moving from double A to finally cracking a triple A lineup. It's whatever their potential is helping them go. Um, I get asked a lot why goalies. Except nine times out of ten, when people say it, it's kind of like there's a smell of bad cheese in the room, and they're like, "Why goalies?" <laughs> and uh, my initial answer is, "Why not?" Uh, goalies are awesome. Um, I I love the position. When I started out, I worked for five years as the exercise specialist at the Fowler Kennedy Sport Medicine Clinic, which is at the University of Western Ontario in my hometown. Um, one of the founders is Peter Fowler, who's a world-renowned orthopedic knee surgeon. He's, he's the guy that did a high typical osteotomy on Steve Eisenman that got him, I think, three or four more seasons and one more Stanley Cup. So I worked in the um, physio department as the exercise specialist. And we have, for some reason, we have lots of pro hockey players that live in London, or even those that don't live in London, like to come to London and hang out for the summer. And so Jeff Hackett had um, just had a traumatic dislocation that season he was playing in Montreal. Um, and then he had an atraumatic dislocation, he had an instability, and so he was holding these from London to, to get that uh, repaired. And so I was tasked with Jeff. <laughs> and so he was mobilized for the first you know, while, there wasn't much we could do, so he was like, well, let's, let's work on something we can't work on. Nothing wrong with your hips and your legs and your torso, so let's figure that out. And he, he's a very passionate guy, and he explained the new butterfly technique and, and you know, what this was and how it worked and when you used it. And, and I was fascinated and appalled at the same time. So I was like, wow, is that ever cool? And it was like, well, you know, geez, the hips aren't designed to do that. Uh, and then my next thought was like, but how can you make your hips do it better? <laughs> so that's really, um, that's how it started and that's why goalies. Goalies, anyone will tell you goalies are weird, odd, um, they're passionate. And when I started on trainingpro.com, I put out content for skaters and goalies, and, and I still do, but the goalies were so interested and passionate and keen to get better and better um, that, that that's, that's where I was drawn to. So I, I honestly firmly believe that I was put here to train hockey goalies, which I think is awesome. Um, in addition to hockey goalies, we train other athletes. And so this is a guy, those of you from Canada, I want you guys to keep an eye out for him. He'll be in Rio this summer. This is Damian Warner. Um, so, so he's kind of our most exciting guy right now. Um, he's a decathlete. He'll be, he'll be challenging Ashley Newton for a gold medal this year. Ashley Newton's a world record holder, a stud of an athlete, amazing guy. <coughs> Damian is 
is is on is an up and comer. Um, but he just ran 10.15 last week in the 100 meters in a decathlon. So that's a world record for a multi event 100 meter dash. So um, so I'll take side wagers if you want. <laughs> it's it's pretty cool because um, and actually spent a lot of time in Arizona working with the great people at Exos. Um, you know, and it's neat because when they come home, it'll be like, what did you guys work on? Well, like. You know, when I do a start, like my arms should not be crossing my body, so we work a lot on that. You know, he's a very raw talent, so that's sort of what it excites us. Um, we're going to talk today about the essential eight for helping your goalies win more games with fewer injuries. The mission for today is to do eight or probably more um, exercises that can help your goalies without special gear. Things that you can just slot into your current program. Um, when I work with our Hockey Strong Elite group, that's skaters and goalies. And 80, 70, 80% is the same of the template is the same. And then we just slot in some different exercises for the goalies. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to do is give you a few things you can slot right in without anything special. Uh, I want to give you an appreciation of what to look for when the goalie moves. And then this afternoon, we're going to just try some drills so you can feel what it feels like um, and, and actually demonstrate it and have the goalie look at you and say, okay, yeah, that, that looks like something that will help me rather than, you know, just look at you like, I don't even know what you're trying to do. To be clear, um, like your guest pointed out the other day, I'm not trying to mimic exactly what they do on the ice. So sometimes, um, you know, I'll work with goalie coaches and they'll say, well, um, or you all post a video and they'll say, I, I think your, your toe angle was wrong on that drill. It's like, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to be on the ice. I'm just trying to give this goalie the tools to use when they go on the ice so they can do what you want them to do more efficiently. So trying to reinforce efficient movement patterns and trying to minimize bad habits where possible. Um, Dave did a great job of this last year. If you were here last year, you nailed it in case you weren't here. Here's the argument for having some goalie specific work. So we can agree that a pitcher and a catcher have different jobs and they're gonna need some subtle differences in the way they're trained. Same with quarterback and fullback, it's gonna be a little different. Goalie and skater, we even learned um, yesterday, Justin taught us that even the knee man and the forward have some differences in, in how they use their energy systems and, and subtlety. So they are different, not just between their ears. They are different. But really, can all these athletes benefit from better strength and speed and mobility and stamina? Yes. Do we squat? Do we do plyos? If they're tight in the hamstring, do we do something to mobilize the hamstring? Yes. So there are more similarities than differences. They're all apples. They're just a little different. And for us, for me, my job is to address those differences and address them as well as I can to equip a goalie for anything. Um, this is uh, this is a client of mine. This is Carter Hutton. He plays for Nashville. Um, he, this is a puck race with Marcus Foligno. I'm pretty proud that Carter won that puck race. Regrettably, he got a little bit sewered in the process. And so, um, like, these are his feet, and this is his head in lateral flexion like that with his whole body on it. So this afternoon when we go out on the turf, we're going to do some headstand iso holds in lateral flexion. This is a little really change joke. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we don't change for this, but the goalies, like anything can happen. So let's look at the differences uh, between goalies and skaters. The hip mobility, a lot more internal rotation, and more extreme abduction. They need that control of the extreme end ranges of motion. Matt talked about it yesterday. They need static stamina. They have to be able to hold that ready position when they get tired. Just like a skater, what do they do? They do this, and there's no power in this position. They let their hands drop. Lateral agility in that confined space. Other than Carter, these guys don't really get to top speed very often. You know, they're always overcome inertia, overcome inertia. And it's, it's that, those quick little pushes. Um, the vertical agility, that up and down is, is exhausting and taxing and it gets missed. 
the load, the weight, the bulk of the equipment. Um, I'm not a boy. When I was yeah, I'm 46 years old, when I was a kid growing up, girls didn't play hockey. It was like, girls don't play hockey. I always played road hockey with my friends because I was um, a super tomboy, and I was always tank riding, and not bad at tank riding, if I do say so myself. Um, at, at that age, I wasn't too good that girls didn't play hockey because I had different career aspirations at the time. Um, I was going for a Roger Starbucks job. I was going to be the first female you know, quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, my dad literally had to sit me down at 12 years old and tell me the dream was over, but it was never going to happen, and find another career path. So training hockey, well, it's just a natural <laughs> progression. But um, I, 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 about two years ago, so I did play hockey, just fine hockey, you know, in university and things like that, nothing serious. But a couple years ago, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get some pads and skates and gloves and give it a whirl and see, see what it's like. If you work with goalies, borrow somebody's pads and skates and actually go on the ice and feel what it feels like to have those pads on, to skate with the pads on, um, to wear those skates, to put on the chesty. Like, one time out of 10, I can put my own jersey on. It's like, I just kind of now can like drink out of the water bottle. It's unbelievable. And, it, and so if you do three up-downs, you'll be gassed. 